Welcome to Mark Reed 757. Hey, today this video I'm going to be talking about the supplements, the medications that I've been taking. Uh, let's see here. The medications I've been taking have been for high blood pressure, high cholesterol, acid reflux, and something else that I'm on is sleep apnea. And the reason why I mention these is because you know a lot of people are on this weight loss journey with me and yes there's some that have like 10 pounds 15 pounds 20 pounds 30 pounds you, you know i agree you, you got to try to get healthy and you know lose that weight nip it in the butt as soon as you can um but to me i got other stipulations that i have to go through and figure because i let myself go so bad that i'm 200 pounds over uh, where I should be and it's just ridiculous I mean living living at 400 pounds is just so not not what you'd want to do definitely definitely not what you want to do and I, I also have a sleep apnea and I mentioned that high blood pressure high cholesterol acid reflux and sleep apnea and all of it can be contributed to being overweight and being severely obese not just obese you know, they got morbidly obese, you know, I'm morbidly severe obese, well, however you want to say it, uh, it all boils down to I'm fat, all right, I'm just filthy fat, and it, it, it's sickening to look at if you've ever seen um, big chunks of fat somewhere, you know, that <laughs> I just picture that as that's me, you know, anyway, you know, this this uh, journeys to get rid of this weight and granted there's going to be um i guess you say scars like you know when you cut yourself you have a scar when you lose weight uh, a significant amount of weight there's evidence that you were fat and i'm all for that because i'll be healthier you know i, I don't mind the scars after losing 200 pounds because that would be tremendous and i'm just going to keep fighting keep going and keep doing what I have to and I'd really love to be able to lose this weight to cut down on these pills and these pills I'm going to talk about here I got uh, let's see cardism cardism I started taking cardism because I had AFib and the doctor prescribed it so I would be able to uh, have a regular heart rhythm instead of going all over the place like yesterday I I still take the cardism, but I do have to be careful. I went disc golfing, and I noticed my heart was going a lot faster than normal, so I had to stop playing. And, you know, it, it's all contributed to this massive amount of weight that I am. But I'm going to keep trying. I, I mean, the only way I'm going to get rid of it is as long as I keep trying and doing, and that's what I'm going to do. And, you know, it's just a shame that in a disc golf tournament, you have two rounds. I was only able to make it one round. And, you know, I had to forfeit my money and everything else, but I still had a fun time, so it's not that big of a deal. The other thing is I got vitamin D3, 2,000 units. Um, that's because I didn't get out in the sun very much. I mean, when you're so heavy, you just don't feel like going out in the sun, and, you know, it, it's not fun to do. So I start taking those, and hopefully I will be getting out in the sun more, especially with disc golfing. It allows me to get out and get the fresh air and, as my uh, mom would say, get the scum giddies off. <laughs> anyway, uh, another thing is simvastatin. That's an, uh, one for the high cholesterol. That allows me to flush that stuff out. I'm going to be getting blood work done here probably in the next couple months or whatever to see how that's doing. I've been doing the best I can to take my medicines like I was supposed to and keep it on. Uh, lisinopril, HCTZ 2025 milligrams. That's uh, one for my high blood pressure. I used to have to take, oh, let's see. I had to take three different high blood pressure pills and now I only have to take one because along with the cardism using the uh, keeping my heart in rhythm it's also kind of like a blood pressure pill so that took the place of the other ones and I didn't like having to be on three different high blood pressure pills so now I'm only on two and my blood pressure seems to be okay for the most part 
Uh, the other thing, and the last thing I believe for the medication part is protonics. I take the protonics, and that's for the acid reflux. And uh, a lot of times I've been drinking alkaline water, and the alkaline water really helps me uh, keep the acid down in my stomach. Um, sometimes for some people, they don't have enough acid, and they have to take uh, apple cider vinegar, and that helps them. So I guess you got to listen to your own body and figure out what works best for you. Now, for the supplements, I take uh, a couple different supplements here and there. I uh, learned most of them about Heal That Pain, and I have a little section on Heal That Pain I'll show you. This is the website I came across, Heal That Pain. Uh, I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see this. I haven't quite got the dimensions proper. Um, however, this is Heal That Pain, and this is where I looked and learned the most about plantar fasciitis. They have proven treatments on here where this is their biggest selling item, the Heal That Pain um, insert. It, it's basically, they call I guess they call it a heel seat. Now I uh, was looking and I wanted to get the full length arch support and this seemed to help fairly well. You know, I bought one of those. My feet still hurt, but you know, it didn't say it was going to take it away instantly. It's kind of like the weight loss that we're doing. We're not um, losing all the weight in one day. <laughs> it's going to take a while. However, this is the site that I came to to learn the most about plantar fasciitis and how to help it. There's uh, home remedies, you know, exercises, stretches you can take. And, you know, I've been doing these every day. There's a... Uh, different vitamins you can take too. I'm not quite sure where they put that on on this site, but I, I know that's how I originally found Heal That Pain was I typed into Google um, plantar fasciitis supplements and this was one of the sites that came up. There were some other ones and I did all kinds of research and I'll be talking more about the supplements here in a little bit. Now that you've seen Heal That Pain, here's my supplements that I take with it because I couldn't find the Heal That Pain supplement section. And we got turmeric ex extract. Uh, I can't pronounce that word. Here's the bottle. I go to Vitacost and this I take every night. Because, and I take two capsules and it's to help relieve the pain if you've done any research on turmeric it's a great pain reliever you know I don't I don't like to take Advil or Aleve or anything like that um, I will take it if the pains is too severe but basically those are like band-aids I, I call them it, it just masks the problem temporarily this not only helps um, the pain issue but it helps heal it too. Um, MSM, I didn't do a whole lot of research on that, although it was in the recommendation of the supplements and it was supposed to do the same thing where it's supposed to help heal the pain. You know, it didn't really, you know, I take them and I don't really feel like uh, the pain's being relieved, but I guess it's healing it. Um, same thing with B complex with C. This this has uh, this helps me. I take that in the morning and it helps my energy levels, and it's supposed to help with the healing process, along with vitamin C. This helps with the healing process as well. Uh, one other medication that I forgot to mention, but I do have it here. This was uh, folic acid, and that's my um, prescription. Uh, I can get that as a regular vitamin, but you know why get it as a vitamin if I get it as a prescription? And that's uh, let's see. I had a, a test done because I had anxiety issues, and I was really wanting something natural to help take care of them. 
because I didn't want the medic, you know, I didn't want the doctors to prescribe any kind of pills because last time they did that, I went from 305 pounds to 420 pounds. And I've been at 400 pounds for like seven years now. And it's ridiculous. And I'm fighting hard to get down below that. And I, I have every inkling that it was the pills that they are prescribing me. Even though I've been off them pills, it's still hard to get the weight back down. But it was just, you know, it, it made me not, you know, the pills they gave me made me not want to do anything other than eat. <laughs> And what happens when you eat? You gain a lot of weight. Anyway, uh, the last supplement that I take every morning and night is krill oil. Uh, this is supposed to be uh, Primo stuff. And now this this isn't the krill oil I take. I take the krill oil from uh, Vitacost. I've been going to Vitacost for most everything. Everything you've seen that was GNC will be Vitacost. Uh, they seem the most uh, cost friendly. They're, um, everything I've taken has been real good from them and they deliver it on a timely basis. It, it gets delivered quickly. Uh, let's see here. I guess that's all the supplements I take and that's the medications and well thanks for watching.